Alan Ladd was a Hollywood legend whose career spanned several decades. He was a talented actor known for his strong performances and his ability to bring his characters to life on screen. Ladd's career began in the 1930s, and he quickly became a leading man during the golden age of Hollywood. His partnership with Veronica Lake helped to define the film noir genre, and his performances in films such as This Gun for Hire and Shane are still celebrated by fans of classic cinema today. Ladd's personal life was marked by tragedy and struggles with addiction, but his legacy in Hollywood lives on. In this video, we will explore the life and career of Alan Ladd, examining his rise to fame, his impact on the film industry, and his lasting contributions to the world of cinema. Chapter 1. Early Life and Career Alan Ladd was born on September 3, 1913 in Hot Springs, Arkansas. His father, Alan Ladd Sr., was a freelance accountant, and his mother, Ina Rawley Ladd, was a housewife. Ladd grew up in various cities in the United States, including Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and North Hollywood, California. Ladd's interest in acting began at a young age, and he often participated in school plays. However, after high school, Ladd found it difficult to make a living as an actor and worked a variety of odd jobs, including selling cars and working as a laborer. In 1932, Ladd made his way to Hollywood and started working as a grip at Warner Bros. Studios. He eventually landed a job as a bit player and appeared in several small roles in films such as Tom Brown of Culver and Citizen Kane. Despite his early success, Ladd struggled to break through as a leading man. He was often cast in supporting roles and was considered too short, 5'5", five five, and not conventionally handsome enough to be a leading man. It wasn't until 1942 that Ladd got his big break with the film This Gun for Hire. In the film, Ladd played the lead role of a hitman named Raven, and his performance was a critical and commercial success. The film established Ladd as a leading man and helped to launch his career. Ladd went on to star in a number of successful films in the 1940s, including The Glass Key, Two Years Before the Mast, and Whispering Smith. He quickly became one of Hollywood's most popular leading men and was often paired with the actress Veronica Lake, with whom he had great chemistry. Despite his success, Ladd remained humble and grounded throughout his career. He was known for his professionalism on set and his dedication to his craft. In the next chapter, we will explore Ladd's Hollywood success and how he became one of the most popular actors of his time. Chapter 2. Hollywood Success Alan Ladd's success in Hollywood can be attributed to a combination of his talent, hard work, and good fortune. In this chapter, we will explore Ladd's rise to fame, his successful partnership with Veronica Lake, and his roles in some of the most notable films of his career. Ladd's breakthrough role in this gun for hire established him as a leading man and paved the way for his success in Hollywood. He quickly became one of the most popular actors of his time, and his films were box office hits. In 1943, Ladd was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in The Pied Piper. Ladd's on-screen chemistry with Veronica Lake was a major part of his success in Hollywood. The two actors starred in several films together, including This Gun for Hire, The Glass Key, and Saigon. Their pairing was a hit with audiences, and they became one of Hollywood's most popular on-screen couples. In addition to his partnership with Lake, Ladd also starred in several films that helped to establish him as a major Hollywood star. In 1949, he starred in the Western film, The Great Gatsby, which was a critical and commercial success. He also starred in the film noir classic, The Blue Dahlia, alongside Veronica Lake. Ladd's most famous role came in 1953 with the film Shane. In the film, Ladd played the title character, a retired gunfighter who becomes embroiled in a conflict between homesteaders and cattle barons. Ladd's performance in the film was widely praised, and it became one of his most iconic roles. Despite his success, Ladd's career was not without its challenges. He struggled with the Hollywood system and was often at odds with studio executives. He also battled with alcoholism, which affected his personal and professional life. In the 1950s, Ladd's career began to slow down, and he struggled to find roles that suited him. He continued to act in films throughout the decade, but his star power had begun to wane. In the 1960s, Ladd transitioned to television and appeared in several popular shows, 
including The Rifleman and Bonanza. Ladd's legacy in Hollywood is significant. He was a major star during the golden age of Hollywood and helped to define the film noir genre. His partnership with Veronica Lake is still remembered fondly by audiences today, and his performances in films such as Shane and The Blue Dahlia continue to be admired. Alan Ladd's success in Hollywood was due to a combination of his talent, hard work, and good fortune. His partnership with Veronica Lake, his roles in some of the most notable films of his career, and his dedication to his craft helped to establish him as one of Hollywood's most popular leading men. Chapter 3 Personal Life and Tragic Death Alan Ladd's personal life was marked by tragedy and struggles with alcoholism. In this chapter, we will explore Ladd's personal life, his battles with addiction, and his untimely death. Ladd's first marriage was to Marjorie Jane Harold in 1936. They had two children together, Alan Jr. and David, before divorcing in 1941. Ladd then married his second wife, actress Sue Carroll, in 1942. They had a son together, Alana, and remained married until Ladd's death. Throughout his career, Ladd struggled with alcoholism, which affected his personal and professional life. He was known to drink heavily on set, and his behavior sometimes caused tension with his co-stars and crew members. Ladd's addiction also contributed to the breakdown of his first marriage. Despite his struggles, Ladd remained committed to his work and continued to act in films and television shows throughout the 1950s and 1960s. However, his addiction continued to take a toll on his health and well-being. On January 29, 1964, Ladd was found dead in his Palm Springs home at the age of 50. The cause of death was a combination of alcohol and an acute cerebral edema. Ladd's death was a shock to his family, friends, and fans, and it marked the end of a career that had spanned several decades. Ladd's legacy in Hollywood lives on, and his performances continue to be celebrated by fans of classic cinema. However, his tragic death serves as a reminder of the dangers of addiction and the toll it can take on individuals and their loved ones. Alan Ladd's personal life was marked by tragedy and struggles with addiction. His battles with alcoholism affected his personal and professional life, and his untimely death at the age of 50 was a shock to his family, friends, and fans. Despite his struggles, Ladd's legacy in Hollywood continues to be celebrated today, and his performances continue to inspire and entertain audiences around the world. Chapter 4 Alan Ladd's Legacy Alan Ladd's legacy in Hollywood is significant, and his influence can still be felt today. In this chapter, we will explore Ladd's impact on Hollywood and his lasting contributions to the film industry. Ladd's performances in films such as This Gun for Hire, The Glass Key, and Shane helped to establish him as a major Hollywood star. He was a leading man during the golden age of Hollywood, and his partnership with Veronica Lake helped to define the film noir genre. Ladd's performances continue to be admired by fans of classic cinema, and his influence can be seen in the work of contemporary actors. Ladd's dedication to his craft and his commitment to delivering strong performances made him a respected figure in Hollywood. He was known for his professionalism and his willingness to work hard to bring his characters to life. Ladd's dedication to his work helped to establish him as one of Hollywood's most popular leading men. Ladd's impact on the film industry extends beyond his performances on screen. He was a pioneer in the use of independent production companies, which allowed actors and filmmakers to have more creative control over their projects. Ladd's independent production company, Jaguar Productions, produced several of his films, including Shane. Ladd's legacy also includes his contributions to the film noir genre. His performances in films such as This Gun for Hire and The Glass Key helped to define the genre and set the stage for the many film noir classics that followed. In addition to his impact on Hollywood, Ladd was also a philanthropist who supported a variety of charitable causes throughout his life. He was known for his generosity and his commitment to giving back to his community. In conclusion, Alan Ladd's legacy in Hollywood is significant, and his influence can still be felt today. His performances continue to be admired by fans of classic cinema, and his impact on the film industry extends beyond his work on screen. Ladd's dedication to his craft, his contributions to the film noir genre, and his philanthropy helped to establish him as one of Hollywood's most respected and beloved figures.